Hello guys, this is Sumaya. Today, I will show you how you can create an image gallery in your WordPress website. Well, today we will look into two ways uh, by which you can add an image gallery to your WordPress website. So let's see the first method. Uh, first, we need to create an image gallery. So uh, let's create a new page for image gallery. For this, go to your WordPress dashboard and click on the page option that you see in the sidebar and then click on the add new option okay now this is the new page so let's uh, give a name for this page here I'm going to give photo album so uh, this is where we are going to add the gallery well uh, WordPress has given us uh, some cool widgets including a uh, gallery so let's add gallery by clicking the plus option that you see here and then search for gallery or uh, you could choose uh, directly from here now the gallery block is added now let's start adding the images you can either upload the image from your system or uh, you can choose the image from a wordpress media library here i'm going to upload some images from my media library okay Okay, once you have selected the images, click on the create new gallery option which you see right here at the bottom and then click on the insert gallery option. Okay, now let's publish the page by clicking on the uh, publish now button. So here is the photo album that I have created. Uh, but as you can see here, you cannot view each image individually uh, that's not good i want to view each image individually so to see each image individually uh, let's go back to the dashboard and make some changes choose an image from the gallery that you have created right now okay here there is an option called link to click on that option and then select media file okay now let's update the page okay we have updated the page now let's go back to the website and reload the page now when you click on an image you can view the image individually but uh, something is missing here as you can see there is no option to view the next image in the gallery so to make that possible we need to install the plugin called WP Featherlight so let's go back to the dashboard now go click on the plugins option that you see in the sidebar and then click on the add new button. Now here you can search for the plugin. So let's search for the plugin WP Featherlight plugin. Okay, let's install this plugin by clicking on the install now button and then click on the activate plugin. Okay, that's done. Okay, uh, there are no much steps to integrate or set up the plugin. Uh, now we can just go view the changes in the website here. Now as you can see, you can view the images individually and also switch from one to another image easily. So that's one way by which you can add an image gallery to your WordPress website. Apart from this, you can also add an image gallery to your WordPress website by using plugins. So let's see how that's done. I'm going to choose a plugin Next Gen Gallery, which is one among the most downloaded gallery plugin. And also it has a good rating. It comes as both free and premium version. We'll just cover the features and setup of the free version as it has almost all essential features that are required to create an image gallery. So let's see how you can integrate WordPress gallery plugin to your WordPress website. For this, go to your WordPress dashboard and then click on the plugins option that you see in the sidebar and then click on this add new option. Now here you can search for plugins. So let's type in WordPress gallery plugin. 
and here you can see the plugin let's click on the install button and then activate it Uh, now here they are asking us uh, some data now here uh, they are asking some data we can skip this uh, step because it would work fine so i'm going to skip this uh, option uh, now on the sidebar you can see there is the gallery plugin so let's uh, look into each uh, settings of the plugin first is the overview here it gives an overall idea about the plugin and now let's look into the second option which is add gallery uh, so this is where you can create a new gallery and upload images uh, let's begin by giving a gallery name right here and now uh, we need to add images to the gallery here you got many options like you can upload the images from a computer in the media library or even import the folder now i'm adding the images uh, from my computer okay there we go okay let's click on the start upload option once you have uploaded all the images to the gallery okay now that's done so let's move on to the next option which is manage the gallery in this page you can see all the galleries that you have created and when click on one you can see the images that you have added to the gallery here you can see optimize each image by editing the all text tags and the description as you can see here and also yes you can rotate them in the gallery settings you can see the title description and preview of the images too and uh, here you can assign bulk actions to the images that you like inside other options uh, you can include a watermark include thumbnail and some other basic settings these options are very useful and you can get it done easily here so let's begin by creating the album let's give a name for the album okay then click add option uh, now uh, you got to select the album from the drop down menu uh, which you can see here now uh, you can add the galleries to the album by dragging and dropping the galleries that you have created here it's just one okay after adding the gallery click on the update button now the album is created now you can see there is an option to manage tags here you can search for the tags and also you can see there are options to rename the tags uh, delete existing tags and even edit the tags these are pretty simple and you can get it done quickly now let's look into some gallery settings by clicking on this option here there are many different options that can make your wordpress gallery look stunning you can change the dimensions the transitions between the images and you can also choose the style uh, for your gallery by seeing uh, which suits your store the best here you can set changes for light box effects watermark styles and more the last option here which is a reset can be used to reset all the changes to default now we have created the gallery and has added the images to it now to display them we need to create a page and insert the gallery to it so let's go to the page and create a page for the gallery now you can insert the gallery by clicking on the next gen option that you see right here now then click on the add next gen gallery again here you can customize the gallery view uh, let's choose uh, the slider option which you see here uh, and here you can select the gallery which you want to display you can also customize the display settings and arrange the images okay now uh, that's how you add an image gallery to your wordpress website using next gen wordpress plugin let's see how that looks in the website by going to the website so this is how it will uh, work here you can 
view each image individually uh, unlike the first option you can see here there is a transition option also you can view the images individually and uh, view the next images too so that's the two methods which you can use to add an image gallery to your wordpress website thanks for watching